Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X2. In our last video, we uh, lost a thing. A thing? So like, organized team. I think we can do that. And then what we can do is go to party members and uh, maybe take the fly eye out, huh? There we go. Put you in a hand. And then I actually want to look at what we've got for... Fire Eater might be helpful. Lightning Eater here. Sleep and Bio! Ooh, that's huge. Alright, alright. I want this. We're gonna put some stuff in here. Okay. Then, we'll do that. Okay. So now, you know, should be- Oh, she's 666 for her hit points. Perfect. I think we might be alright here. Wow. Why not? We can kick up fire sandals at people and... Our monsters will do whatever they do. So let's see what we can do here. I bet you we do worse than we did before. Alright, we'll see what happens. Get him, Tom Murray. Viraga helps! Fire, not so much. But we can't keep doing this. Alright, we killed that guy. So, now we're just fighting one thing. And we could just start punching now. It wouldn't really. Now we're doing good damage. I mean, Yuna's not. <laughs> the rest of our team's doing fine. There we go. Yuna gotta level up for that. So now we have to fight Element Trio. This will be interesting to try. Because... We didn't even see this. So we have to fight Element Trio, uh, one of these guys. Oh, never mind. The guy, the guy who wouldn't get hurt by the fire sandals is already dead.
I mean, oh man, he's oversold. Garbage. Maybe we can get something really good. Like maybe we can hit, you know, Faraga or something. Fira's okay. I don't think I can legitimately... I mean, I don't think Bio's gonna work on him. <laughs> Try it. Seems kinda like a lost cause, though. It didn't matter. So, that's fine. So, now, uh, Flying Circus again. And now we have to get pretty lucky. But, with a decent amount of... Uh, with a decent amount, like a decent Fire Sandals roll, we can do this. These guys kill me in my practice file, too. Because you have to beat this thing three times to unlock the next one. So who knows? Maybe we'll luck out here. We did not. And there's a lot going on here. Now the Chocobo learned Life Preserver. That's kind of nice, I guess. We have not killed a single one of these things. Chocobo's about to die. We'll, we'll use Fountain and see what it does. Seems like we're not doing well here. Well, I killed I killed two of them. I think I can I hope I can Phoenix down this chocobo. I can in fact do that. That is nice. Nope, I died. And he cast life on the chocobo. You guys stink. You cast life on the wrong person. Good. Okay, okay, okay. We're back in business here. Oh, we did it. Awesome. Such a nightmare. So, we won the tournament. And we obtained Trap Pod M. And, uh... Tonbury obtained a Fiend Tail bonus. Chocobo obtained a fiend tail bonus. 
And we scored the Psychic Dress Sphere. All I wanted. So we won the tournament. We have to do that two more times. And clearly with a little more leveling up of things and stuff like that, we could, you know. Um, so now, let's go to the creator menu. And I don't think we can see the fiend tail until we let them go. Look at brother go! <laughs> oh, X to display fiend tail. Winter I don't like very much because I can't go anywhere. I think about the next spring when the new year arrives, I'll make many more memories. Hey, don't forget about me, okay? Always, always, always remember me. Interesting! So yeah, these things will all have kind of like stories and stuff, I guess. But, but again, none, none of that stuff is anything we have to care about. What we have to care about is the Psychic Crest Sphere, because here's the thing about it, it's fun. And it's going to help us out with the confusability. So, let's change our party members back. Clearly, Pain is the Tonberry and Riku is the Chocobo. So, Restless Sleep is what we have, uh, yeah, on Yuna. And do we want to rearrange it? We do. We want to take the Psychic one and put it here. There we go. Now Yuna can be a psychic. And then we can equip Yuna. And make her psychic. And she has those weird glasses, and she'll float in combat. I think that's her standard thing. So, uh, now! Oh. So now, we have to go stand in line at, uh, at, at Jose, but I think we're gonna go up Mushroom Rock Road for that. So we actually are gonna go and we're gonna walk up Mushroom Rock Road just to make sure we've got everything there. And then if we get into some random encounters, we will, uh, get to see you in his new dress sphere. Going for an excavation interview with Jose Temple? I can give you a lift if you want. We'll walk, thanks. Okay, if you change your mind, all you have to do is ask. Alright, that's fair. Alright, so there's Yuda, floating away. In some schoolgirl uniform, for some reason, she looks, or 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 maybe like it looks like a Hogwarts robe almost. I mean, it's just it's just crazy. It's crazy, crazy. I say. Didn't there used to be guys on this road who turn you to stone? Okay. Now one of the things, like, so Psychic Bomb damages all enemies, you can check that out. I mean, it did in fact damage all enemies, and that's what it promised, so it delivered. I wish your overworld outfit uh, changed on on screen. It would be fun to see her float around as a psychic. I don't know. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. All right. 
when we come back, more of this. Bye, everybody.